Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to uh, serve a map to the web and we're going to do that in under five minutes without using a web server or a map server or doing any programming of any kind. We're simply going to use Manifold System Release 9 and this is a 31 megabyte download which we've just downloaded and we've, we're using the portable edition here. If you've got a universal license or a server license you can uh, serve maps to the web without anything else. And uh, we're looking at the portable installation right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on Manifold EXE and I'm going to choose Run as Administrator. I'm using Server Edition here because I, I like the convenience of being able to uh, work with the, uh, uh, the server dialog. And uh, I've just launched Manifold in the usual way. This is the regular Manifold desktop. I'm going to open up a project that I previously created. It's a simple project. Uh, it shows uh, Mexico with uh, layers for uh, cities and with provinces and la labels for the provinces and layers for the cities and cities labels. And you can see the layers that we're using here. And uh, if we turn on the uh, show, let's see, min max scale mode, you can see that some of these layers turn on and off uh, with different scales. So, for example, when I zoom in, the cities layer will turn on, and then I zoom a little bit farther, and the, uh, the cities labels layer will turn on. And uh, it'll, you know, zoom in and out like that. So, basically, this is the map we're going to publish to the web. You know, this is real simple to create maps, but this is about publishing, you know, uh, how to publish to the web. So we're going to do that. So take whatever map you want, configure it the way you like with whatever style you like for, you know, whatever the layers, you know, that you want. And uh, when you're happy with the way it is, save it and then close it and then launch the uh, manage services dialog and uh, add a service. And uh, let's call this name Mexico for this particular service name. And the data that we want to use is uh, this. Uh, uh, project right here, Mexico provinces and cities. Click open. And uh, I want to use port 80. That's the default port, but I like to enter it anyway. And the options that I want to use is I want to do a HTTP type server. And the component from within that map that I want to run, that I want to display, is the one that's called Mexico. Uh, I don't have to put it in quotes, but I like to get in the habit of uh, using putting the name of the component in quotes so that if the name happens to have special characters like a comma or space characters or something like that it will still work. Click OK and uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to control click that to highlight it and now I'll click the run button and I've just published it to the web. We now have a fully functional web page at uh, that uh, web address and if I like to uh, take a look at it what I'll do is I'll go off screen here where I have a browser running. I'm going to Turn, bring the browser back up off the tax, taskbar, and here we're looking at the Manfred web page. I'm going to add another tab and uh, enter that URL. Click enter, and there's our web page. And this is a web page that, uh, if you have a static IP address for your computer, you know you can visit from anywhere on the planet. Uh, we do not have inter Internet Information Server installed on this Windows computer. You can use pretty much any version of Windows that you like, like Windows, you know, whatever. And uh, this happens to be Windows 11 that we're running, and uh, it's I'm not even sure if it's professional edition or home or whatever, but uh, it doesn't have IIS installed on it. It doesn't have uh, Apache installed on it. We're not using Leaflet. We're not using Maps or anything like that. We're just using that itty bitty 31 megabyte uh, downloaded manifold uh, to uh, create this uh, web, this, this web display. And we can uh, zoom in, zoom out and zoom in. And as we zoom in, you can see the map behaves exactly the way it does in the desktop with all the various features that, that are that are done. For example, we have transparency added or different layers that come in, turn on and off with transparency. That's the zoom to fit button. You can expand and contract this uh, as you like. And as you can see, we've added this, uh, how long did it take us to actually create that web page? Well, maybe a minute when you, you know, eliminate all the discussion. So how easy it is, is it to change this? Well, it's real easy. Let's go back here to uh, the uh, manifold session that we're working with. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop this web service so that, you know, that frees up the map that we're working with. And we can now open that map again uh, and close the dialog and file recent projects. Let's go back to the Mexico projects and let's change it a bit. Let's uh, add a uh, background color and I kind of like that color. So we're going to use that one and let's add a north arrow. I'm going to click the north arrow layer on. I don't like the default north arrow, so let's uh, use this one. This has become my go-to north arrow. I'm going to make it slightly smaller, 48 pixels in size. And I'm going to position it at the uh, left top. Click apply to see how that looks. Yeah, that looks okay. It looks pretty good. Click okay. And uh, let's add a scale bar too. And I don't like the scale bar down in that lower position, so I'm going to move it up from the right to the top. So uh, click apply again. Okay, I like the way that looks. That's great. So we've just now changed the map. And uh, let's save it. And I'll close it so to free it up for use by server. 
Let's go back here into Tools Manage Services. And uh, it still remembers that service that I configured. So let's start it. And now the website is running again. But now it's running with the changes. So whenever we refresh the website, say with a zoom in or out, it automatically updates to use the, uh, you know, the new displays. You can see we now have the uh, background color that we put in. We have the north hour here in the upper left-hand bar, uh, left-hand position, and we have the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, uh, scale bar here to the right. So it's uh, it's that easy to use and that that easy to change. And if you want to do fancier things, uh, well, let's do something else that's fancy. Let's let's pull in uh, data from uh, outside of Manifold, for example, from a web server. And uh, to do that, okay, we've stopped the project and uh, let's click close so let's uh, open up the project again recent projects and uh, what i will do is i could add a bing street map background but i'm, I'm going to do something uh, more interesting let's uh let's create a uh, data source for a google map satellite there we created it and now let's drag and drop that into the uh, the uh, map and i'll use that as a background layer so it's going to be the bottom layer so there now we've now we've changed the map so that we have a google background layer to it Click Save to save the save the project. Uh, close it to so make it available for you for the, for the uh, web server for the map server and then manage services. Let's uh, let's restart that again. Control click it to uh, highlight it. Click the uh, Start button and uh, it's now running. So we now have the uh, web page up and running. And uh, oops, let's get that back up. And uh, so let's uh, let's zoom in. Let's see what what that does. And as you can see, we now have a. Uh, Google Maps running. Now, uh, when, when Manifold is serving uh, layers from the web, it can only serve those layers from the web as fast as, say, Google is giving them to you. So if Google's slow, well, you know, the web, the web display is also going to be a little slow while it's waiting for Google to uh, serve those pages. Uh, the other thing uh, that you should keep in mind when you're using layers like Bing or Google, I'm using a free Google account to uh, generate, you know, that Google background. If you're actually going to do this in a production site, you know, for example, you're going to have, you know, uh, you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people a day getting millions of page views, well, you should probably get an API key from Google so they don't get upset that you're pulling down millions of page views from Google, uh, you know, without, uh, you know, paying them a few bucks. It's actually remarkably inexpensive if you want to do that. Or if you prefer, you can use free servers or you can host the data yourself. Uh, but just as easily as we added uh, Google to this, uh, to this whole deal, uh, we could also add a, a layer that's brought in from uh, Postgres or from, you know, MySQL or SQL Server or Oracle or, you know, and uh, an Esri uh, file geodatabase or an enterprise geodatabase. In fact, this is the easiest way to publish data from Esri file geodatas because you don't need to do any programming. You just you know configure it and go. And uh, you can run it on whatever spare computer that you have uh, without having to worry about using up all your uh, ArcGIS online credits. And uh, like I like I say, all this has been all this is done using. Uh, I've been using a server edition license, which is a three hundred ninety-five dollars, because that allows me to run as many websites as I want. Uh, on a computer, it allows me to, to serve as many people as I want simultaneously. And uh, I can run server as a TCP server for serving data to Manifold clients, or run it as an HTTP server for serving map pages to the web pages, and all, all that is built in. Uh, if you want, you can use Universal Edition, which is only $195, $195. And a lot of people have Universal Edition. Uh, Universal Edition is limited to using a command line interface. And uh, Universal Edition is also uh, uh, limited to having only uh, one web page, one web web page at a time being served, uh, with a maximum of 100 connections, which typically works out to about 20 users. So if you like, let's uh, let's configure that. Let's see how this is done. Uh, we're about the nine minute mark, but I'll just spend a couple minutes to show you how to do that with Universal Edition. First thing I'll do is I'll open up a different manifold session that I had running here in background. I'm going to bring it on top, and this shows a big base map that uh, Manifold uses for uh, you know a variety of test purposes. Uh, which I've got my hands on. And this is a pretty big map. This has a lot of layers in it. And uh, some of these layers are really huge, like the uh, various Eurodem layers here are uh, literally uh, 60, 69 gigabytes, something like that. They show uh, all of Europe at uh, you know, less a resolution of uh, less than half a kilometer you know, with uh, hill shading and all that. So it's, 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 it's a pretty big dem. And the uh, background layer for it is also built into Manifold. And that background layer, I think, is 17 gigabytes. So we're looking at about 85 gigabytes of data here as we're panning and zooming, you know, in the desktop. You know, you can't do anything like this with uh, Esri products because they're just not fast enough to handle that. But Manifold is. And we're going to take this base map as is, and we're going to serve it to the web. And to do that, I'm going to save it. You know, the drill by now, I'm going to close it. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a command prompt in a background command window in, as administrator. And here it is. I've opened it up. And what I will do is, uh, let's see, CD, C9 is the uh, directory. And that's the folder where I, I have a uh, manifold installed. And I want to use this guy here, manifoldserver.exe. And uh, to do that, I will, uh, to, to, to launch this as a command line uh, from, from Universal Edition, you can also do it in Server Edition as a command line. I, I always use a services dialog, but hey, if you wanted to, you can do it the way you would with Universal. So we're going to do that for the demo here. I'm going to enter that command line. So I'm going to say, say, launch manifold server type as an HTTP server using that U URL, that, that IP address. And I'm going to use port 8080 because I have port 80 occupied with the service that's running, showing the Mexico map. So I want to use a different port here. You can use any free port that you want. Uh, the component that I want to serve is the one called base map, and it's coming from this project. So if I do all that and I click enter, server should start up, and now it's running. And as long as we have that web page, as, as long as we have this command page open, it's going to keep running. And uh, so let's see, uh, let's see if we can actually use it. And we're going to launch that browser again, click open a new tab, enter the URL with, this H with the uh, port specification as well. And there's our base map. And so Manifold is now on this uh, itty bitty little you know, personal machine. It's running uh, uh, 85 gigabytes of data. And as you can see, it's actually remarkably quick in terms of how it can handle that. And it's not going to be any slower, no matter you know, how many thousand people you, know, you have uh, serving data like this. Uh, and a typical machine like this, a, which you know, core, you know, core i7 or core i9 or something like that, or a Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7, uh, certainly a Ryzen 9 can handle, uh, you know, typically a few tens of thousands of people, you know, hitting typical web pages, and so, uh, you know, you can get uh, millions of page views like this a day uh, for, you know, basically nothing more than the cost of a, you know, spare machine that you have lying around, and your $195 cost of a uh, manifold license for Universal or a uh, $395 for server. Uh, trust me on this. If you're serving a lot of stuff, get the server edition because it is just so, so, so convenient to be able to, uh, you know, serve all this stuff without any kind of uh, worries about how many websites you have running uh, or uh, who's using them and how. And uh, it's just uh, it's just really convenient. So there you go. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. If you like what you see, tell your friends. Remember, uh, all you need is a manifold license. It's just a 31 megabyte download, and uh, you can serve maps of the web. Uh, without needing a map server, without learning how to do any of that, uh, you know, web web development or web programming stuff, uh, without learning how to configure and administrating Internet Information Server or Apache, or you know, creating tile sets for Map Server or Leaflet or any of that other stuff, you just create the map the way you want to see it, WYSIWYG, and uh, you know, just launch that command line or click that Run button for uh, you know the server for the server dialog, and off to the races you go and the you, the website it is. Now, if you want to. Uh, embed all this in, in uh, websites that you've created, you know, uh, uh, you can, of course, do that because, you know, the server also provides a variety of REST endpoints. It's an extremely easy easy deal to, you know, include displays like this and to change the size of the displays like this uh, in website that you create. All that's in the documentation, so, you know, go check it out in the Manifold.net website. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.